Good. <clears throat> Let me try it again. Good Friday morning. <laughs> Everybody, it's Chris Allen and your weather podcast for this April 29th. I was just so excited. It's the weekend. And, uh, yeah, I haven't had my first cup of coffee yet, and so my voice was trying to get oh, Okay. At least I still have a young-sounding voice in a way. All right. It is uh, the weekend, and it looks like it's going to rain just a bit. We need the rain, though. I know it's bad timing. There's a lot of outdoor activities going on this weekend. Temperatures will certainly be nice, but uh, we could use the rain. We're getting woefully behind, as I mentioned in yesterday's podcast, uh, just how behind we are. And as of today, we're now two and three quarter inches behind for the month of April. And here we are in the final days of the month. And year to date, we should be right at the 16 inch mark. But we've only recorded 11.64, just a little bit over 11 and a half inches of precipitation from uh, the beginning of the year to today. And that puts us about four and a third inches behind. So rain is desperately needed if we want to stay on pace and not get into a drought situation. Uh, we could use this rain. And from the projections, everything I'm looking at right now, it appears that we could see an inch to an inch and a half. Some locations may get upwards of two inches of rain during the course of the weekend, and that would certainly help things out tremendously. Uh, so if you have outdoor plans, I will tell you that it's not going to rain steadily the entire time. It's going to come in waves, and even during the day on Saturday, there may be a period of time during the middle part of the day when it just it just won't rain. It's just cloudy, and uh, showers will come in tomorrow morning, again tomorrow evening, and again Sunday. But there will be those times when you can get outdoors and do something, and uh, maybe it won't be a total washout for you. All right, looking at the numbers from yesterday, 81 was the official high temperature at the Bowling Green Airport, 73 the average high. So we were 8 degrees above average there. 57 was our low, 50 was our average low or is our average low, so we were 7 degrees above the average low for the day. And one year ago we had a high of 66 and a low of 42 Back in 2015, we did pick up just two hundredths of an inch of rain. Of course, that happened very early yesterday morning. So, uh, rain is in the forecast, but I think much of today is going to be dry. We're already seeing an increase in high clouds, and as we go through the day, clouds will thicken up from west to east, warm, and a high of 80. Tonight, though, is when we'll see the first wave of showers and thunderstorms, especially late tonight. Looks like it's going to be sometime after after midnight, uh, and it looks like through the early morning hours of that first wave coming through. Low of 60, and the, the rain chance, or the chance that you'll get rained on tonight, is at 60%. And that holds for tomorrow. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms occasional throughout the day with a high of 79. More showers and thunderstorms Saturday night, 62. More showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, the first day of May. We'll see a 60% chance with 76. And then the showers begin to taper off as we get into early Monday morning with a 30% chance of a shower, then partly sunny 72. That's when the cold front finally passes through the area and shuts off the rain. As we get into Tuesday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, a bit cooler, 71. Temperatures are going to get back to where they should be for this time of the year, and even some overnight lows in the cooler 40s, like mid to upper 40s, nothing chilly really as we get into Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday, mostly sunny, 74. Uh, Thursday of next week, sunny and 73. So the temperatures are certainly going to get back to more seasonable averages, which is 73, 74 degrees. 
instead of being in the 80s as they have been over the last few days. Today should be the last 80 degree day we have for the remainder of the seven day forecast. But that rain, it's going to come in late tonight and stay with us at least through the weekend into early Monday morning. Severe weather threat, well, marginal at best or isolated. Uh, Right now, the Storm Prediction Center does not have us in a categorized risk area, although we'll have to watch probably tomorrow afternoon and evening and Sunday for the possibility of one or two stronger thunderstorms, which any of those could go severe, depending on how much instability. But uh, if we can keep it cloudy and keep it rainy, that, of course, would cut down on the amount of instability and keep us from seeing too much in the way of severe weather. But as far as widespread severe weather, something like what we had a couple of days ago, uh, don't think so, not with this system. Although the other day did surprise us a bit, uh, I don't think uh, we're going to see anything like that with this round. It's going to be mostly about the rainfall during the course of the weekend. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this morning, 11 a.m. on midday, then this afternoon, the Chris Allen Radio Show. Just tune in to FM 100.7. That's Sam. Classic hit Sam 100.7. Between 3 and 7 o'clock this afternoon, God bless and have a great weekend.